Hey there, watch enthusiasts! Welcome back to the Steady Ticker. Here's me, Joel, one of your go-to friends when it comes to all things about luxury watches, and with me is Joe, your other go-to friend who is also passionate about luxury watches. For this video, we will talk about a topic that hits close to home for many collectors: watch regrets. We've all been there, haven't we? That sinking feeling of realizing that the watch you just bought might not have been the best choice after all. Truly relatable. And trust us, we've seen our fair share of watch regrets over the years. So today we're sharing our insights and experiences to help you avoid making the same mistakes. From fashion watches to investment pitfalls, we're breaking down five types of watches you'll always regret buying. So whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting your watch journey, grab your favorite timepiece, sit back and let's explore the world of watch regrets together. Let's get started. Starting with a topic that's near and dear to many watch collectors is hearts, or maybe not so much, the fashion watch. Ah, the fashion watch. Those flashy timepieces that scream look at me with every tick. But are they really worth the hype? Well, let's break it down. When we talk about fashion watches, we're referring to those branded by high-end fashion houses like Michael Kors, Gucci, Versace, and the list goes on. Now, don't get us wrong. These watches can be real eye-catchers. They often feature sleek designs and that coveted designer label slapped right on the dial. Now, here's where things get a bit dicey. Fashion watches have earned themselves a bit of a bad reputation in the watch community, and for good reason. Exactly. First off, many of these watches come equipped with cheap quartz movements. Now, there's nothing inherently wrong with quartz, but for the price you're paying, you'd expect a bit more bang for your buck. And let's not forget about their design. While they might look flashy at first glance, many fashion watches suffer from a lack of originality. It's like they're all cut from the same cookie-cutter mold. Plus, the price tag on these bad boys can often be sky-high, way out of proportion to their actual value. You're essentially paying for the brand name rather than the quality of the watch itself. But we get it. For many folks, a fashion watch might be their first foray into the world of timepieces. I mean, who can't resist the charm of a designer label? True, true. But here's the thing. There are plenty of alternatives out there that offer better value for your money. Brands like Timex, Seiko and Casio offer stylish options at a fraction of the cost. So if you're tempted to splurge on that designer fashion watch, take a step back and consider your options. Trust us, there's a whole lineup of watch pieces out there waiting to be explored, and you don't have to break the bank to find the perfect one. All right, let's move on to our next category of watches that you might end up regretting, the investment watch. It sounds enticing, doesn't it? The idea of buying a timepiece that not only looks good on your wrist, but also appreciates in value over time. But here's the reality check. Buying watches solely as investments is a risky game. That's right, Joe. While it's true that some watches do increase in value over the years, there's no guarantee that the one you buy today will be worth more tomorrow. Exactly. The watch market is notoriously fickle, with trends and tastes shifting constantly. What might be hot today could be old news tomorrow. And let's not forget about those unexpected twists and turns. Remember when everyone was clamoring for certain watches during the pandemic, thinking they were foolproof investments? Oh, I remember it well. But fast forward a year, and suddenly those same watches were worth a fraction of what people paid for them. It just goes to show that predicting the future value of a watch is like trying to predict the weather. You might get it right sometimes, but most of the time, you're left scratching your head. So what's the takeaway here? Buy watches for the love of watches, not for the love of money. Indeed, focus on finding timepieces that bring you joy and excitement, regardless of their potential resale value. Because at the end of the day, a watch is more than just a financial asset. It's a piece of history, a reflection of your personality, and a source of endless enjoyment. So don't get caught up in the hype of investment potential. Buy what you love, wear it with pride, and let the rest take care of itself. Next up, the category of watches that often lead to regret. Those lost in the hype. Yes, the hype train. It's easy to get swept up in it, especially when everyone around you is singing the praises of a particular watch. But the thing is, buying a watch solely because of hype is a recipe for disappointment. That's right, we've seen it time and time again. A watch gets hyped up to the heavens, everyone rushes to buy it, and then… crickets. Exactly. And I'll be the first to admit it. I've been tempted by the siren song of hype myself. Oh, tell us about it, Joe. What happened? Well, there was this one time that I had my eye on a watch that was all the rage in the watch community. 
people were singing its praises left and right, and I couldn't help but feel like I was missing out. I think we've all been there, Joe. FOMO, or the fear of missing out, it's a powerful thing. It sure is. So, I finally got the opportunity to buy this hyped up watch, and I'll admit it, I was excited, but when I finally got it on my wrist, something just didn't feel right. Oh no, what, what happened? Well, as I looked at it, I realised I didn't really love the watch for what it was. I was more captivated with the idea of owning something that everyone else was talking about. Ah oh, yes, that classic case of peer pressure influencing your decision. Yes, indeed. And that's when it hit me. Buying a watch should be a personal decision, not one influenced by external hype or pressure. Amen to that, Joe. At the end of the day, it's your wrist, your style and your preference that matters the most. Absolutely. Don't get caught up in the hype. Buy a watch because you love it, not because everyone else does. Another category of watches that might leave you with a twinge of regret, those without the bracelet. The classic bracelet versus strap debate. It's a classic dilemma for watch enthusiasts everywhere. True, and while there's nothing inherently wrong with a watch on a strap, there are definitely some pitfalls to consider. That's right, when it comes to buying a watch, we always recommend opting for the bracelet version whenever possible. And why is that, you might ask? Well, for starters, a bracelet offers versatility that a strap simply can't match. That's true, Joel. With a bracelet, you can easily transition from a casual day to a formal event without skipping a beat. Plus, there's that added bonus of durability. A well-made bracelet can withstand years of wear and tear, whereas a strap might need to be replaced more frequently. Not to mention the aesthetic appeal. There's something undeniably sleek and sophisticated about a watch on a bracelet. Exactly, but here's where things get tricky. Adding a bracelet to a watch that originally came on a strap can be a costly and time-consuming endeavour. Oh, absolutely. Not only do you have to shell out extra cash for the bracelet itself, but you also have to factor in the cost of installation. And let's not forget about the hassle of finding a bracelet that matches the watch's lug width. It's like trying to find a needle in a haystack sometimes. That's why we always stress the importance of considering lug width when choosing a watch. It might seem like a minor detail, but trust us, it can make all the difference. That's true. So the next time you're in the market for a new timepiece, remember this golden rule, always buy on the bracelet if you can. And now for our final category of watches that you might end up regretting. The ones that just don't suit your style. Well, it's inevitable. It really is a struggle finding the perfect watch that not only looks good, but also feels right on your wrist. And let's face it, not every watch is going to be the perfect match for every person. That's right, and while it might be tempting to jump on the bandwagon and buy the latest trendy timepiece, it's important to stay true to your own personal style. True. After all, a watch is more than just a timekeeping device. It's a reflection of you and what you stand for. So, before you pull the trigger on that shiny new watch, take a moment to ask yourself, does this watch really fit my style? And if the answer is no, don't be afraid to walk away. Trust us, it's better to wait for the right watch than settle for something that just doesn't feel right. Now, we know that some watches can be a bit daunting to style, especially if they're considered iconic pieces in the watch world. Oh, absolutely. Take the Jaeger Le Coultre Reverso, for example. It's a timeless classic, but it might not be the easiest watch to incorporate into your everyday wardrobe. And let's not forget about the Cartier Tank or the Breitling Navitimer. Both iconic watches in your own right, but not necessarily suited for everyone's style. That's why it's so important to prioritise comfort and practicality when choosing a watch. Sure, that oversized diver might look cool on Instagram, but if it's not comfortable to wear or doesn't fit your lifestyle, what's the point? Couldn't agree more. When it comes to buying a watch, remember this. Stay true to yourself, choose a timepiece that speaks to you, and above all, wear it with confidence. After all, that's what true style is all about, right? And there you have it, our breakdown of five watches you'll always regret buying. Whether it's the flashy fashion style watch, the tempting investment piece, or the hyped up timepiece, the strap only watch, or the style mismatched. We've covered it all. But here's the thing, while it's easy to get caught up in the charm of a new watch, it's important to approach your purchases with caution and consideration. Indeed, take the time to research your options, consider your own personal style and preferences, and above all, buy a watch because you love it, not because of external pressure or trends. Because at the end of the day, a watch is more than just a piece of jewellery, it's a reflection of who you are and what you value. So whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting your watch journey, remember this, 
buy wisely, wear proudly, and never settle for anything less than what truly brings you joy. Thanks for joining us in this exploration of watch regrets. Until next time, just keep ticking. Want to hear more about watches? Hit the subscribe button below to support the Steady Ticker channel and click the notification bell to instantly know about our new videos on luxury watches. See you in the next one.